Hey everyone, today we will be creating this progress bar in Next.js using Tailwind and TypeScript and no third-party libraries. So tag along and let's get to it. First, we're gonna clean up all this boilerplate code because we're not gonna really need it. And I will actually add in a couple of divs that will help us visualize the scroll and you will see how the page moves so let's say for bit height screen so that will take the height of the screen and let's say background blue 200 and let's add a couple of more let's add a couple more of these so red yellow and green for last you can also delete image so now if you look at it then we have a very simple website but we will be able to see how the scroll works everywhere now to actually create our component i will add a new folder called components and inside components i will add a new file called progress bar So in progress bar, um, this component will be responsible of, for two items. One is to actually display the progress bar, which is going to be just a simple div. And the other one will be to actually handle the logic, like the size of the progress bar, meaning it will calculate how deep you have scrolled so far. So first we can add a use client on top because we will use some hooks in here. And let's say export const progress bar. And let's just say we return a div. And inside that we will have another div. That's the bit of styling. So we want this progress bar to be forfeit, fixed to the top, left zero, right zero. That will be the the container of our progress bar and the second div will be the one that actually handles the color setting and everything so it will have a dynamic width so let's say class name will be let's say the view of height and I will add it a nice gradient gradient to the right from and I'm gonna use some hex codes here fb 7 c 0 via e 7 3 b 50 and 2 that's gonna be 9 a 0 0 9 b so this will give us a nice gradient with three colors so it will start with this orange color and with this pink or purple color and it will have this red um, in between and i'm gonna add one style attribute here and i will explain in a second why we do it here let's say 50 percent so the reason i use a style tag here and not a class is because we will actually use um, our calculated width so this is not going to be hard coded so this will change in a bit but let's go back and import our progress bar component in our main uh, page or our home page so let's say progress bar and let's see yeah so you can see if we have halfway progress bar if we are scrolling nothing happens that's fine that's gonna be the next step so to actually add some capability so we can calculate it we're gonna have to do a bit of change here so i'm gonna use a ref let's say main ref equals use ref which is going to be an html element or null And we also can add the use client here because we are using some React hooks. So what we are going to do here is I want to know 
how deep the user scrolled in this whole main component. So that, that means they include all these four teams and potentially more in the future. So I want to see. You can attach it to any other component. You might need to tweak it a little bit, but it should be fairly close. The only thing you need to do is you need to add a ref to the element you want to track. So let's say it's going to be main ref. And now that we have this ref, we need to pass it in to our progress bar as a, as a prop. Because it will, um, we will use it there to actually calculate the position and so on. So now here, because we are passing in that ref, we're gonna have we're gonna have to handle that prop. So let's say this is gonna be target, and let's say uh, progress bar props. I like to declare it separately instead of doing it in line because it can get a bit messy. So target will be react dot ref object and here the type we pass in so HTML element. Oops. So now we have that. So we have access to sweet. So now we have that. We have access to the ref. So we need to go and set up a scroll handler. So when you're scrolling, we want to listen to those changes. We need to add function that will handle whatever happens when you're scrolling. And we also gonna add the state where we will keep track of the current. So we will see where you're currently on the page. So let's start with the state. So, so let's call it reading progress, set reading progress, use state, and we're going to start with zero by default because you're going to land on the page and it's going to be on the top. So now we can replace this state. I mean, we can replace this hard-coded value here and use the state we have. Uh, we want to make sure it's in a percentage value makes life a bit easier, at least for now. And next, we can add a function that will be called scroll listener. And we can now add a use effect. This use effect will be used just to add the Event listener, when you are scrolling, scroll and the invoke scroll listener. And you also want to make sure that you clean up this once you unmount this component. We don't want anything to be left over. So we can remove this event listener, scroll, scroll listener. Good. Now we can also, I will wrap this scroll listener into a use callback hook because we this is good practice to overall keep it nice and tidy and we will add this scroll listener as a dependency and here we only want to um pre-declare our this scroll listener when our target changes so that should be it. The last item that only left is to actually calculate the position of our scroll. So now the only thing that's left to do is to actually add the logic for our, um, where we can calculate where the progress or where the scroll uh, status is. So first let's add the um, safety check that if we have nothing, if we don't have an element, that we are listening to, then we actually don't even want to continue anymore. Let's just return. Otherwise, we're going to have some errors and everything. Otherwise, we're going to get our element from here. So this will be an HTML element. And we can use that to first calculate the total height. Let's say that's going to be element.client height minus 
element dot offset top minus window dot inner height. So this will give us the whole height. Next, we can have a constant called window scroll top, and this will be the scroll depth we already um, scrolled down on the page. So it's the is the vertical scroll progress in the whole window. So this is gonna be either window dot scroll y or document dot document element dot scroll top or document dot body dot scroll top. This these are all the options. Uh, some browsers support different ones, so it's more of a defensive way of getting the value. Or the height of our component that we are tracking of the progress, and we have the current progress, then we can just set the top, set the state based on this. So let's start with the edge cases. So if window scroll top equals zero, then we want to return and set reading set reading progress going to be zero. So meaning if you're already on the top, right, or you're on the top or you or you're on the bottom and you scroll back to the top, we want to set it to zero. Set reading progress to hundred, meaning you scroll to the bottom of the page. Uh we don't want to set the progress anymore. Like this is a maximum. Now, if it's not the top and if it's not the bottom, then that means that we can calculate the percentage of how deep you scroll on the page. So we can say set reading progress, window scroll top divided by the total height. And because we want a percentage value, we multiply it by 100. So on paper, this should be it. So let's go and check it out. So if you scroll, you can see that it's working. This is the first, if you remember, we have four divs. So if we scroll to the first one, second one, third one, and we are on the fourth one, and we are at the bottom. And if we scroll back to the top, it also works. And that's it. I hope you liked the video. Let me know if you have any questions or anything wasn't clear. If, if you have any ideas for a new video, please let me know. I always like to take on small challenges like this. They are really fun and I think they can be educational too. So let me know and I will see you in the next one.